Hi, Portsmouth West High School Choirs. Okay, today's going to begin a very important day for you guys. Um, it's a fall fundraiser that we're running. I'm going to make a really, really quick presentation. Um, now you're in high school, so you've done this a number of times, so I'm sure you know the drill. But um, we got a really, really good option that we're selling this year. You're going to be getting a packet. You should have gotten an envelope like this inside your packet. You're going to look just to make sure that you have four things. We have two brochures. One is this holiday seasonal shopper now, and the other is the cookie dough. You should also have a parent letter and an order form. Okay, so um, this is pretty much like any other fundraiser. You're going to use your order form to take orders. It's prepaid, so you're going to collect the money at the time that you're ordering. Fill in the order form, you know, very neatly. Please use um, black pen or blue pen, no red pen. And then these will have three pages that are attached. Keep them all together. At the end of the sale, then you're going to hand that back to Mrs. Teeman. She's going to um, take your money at that point and, um, you know, uh, send it into us. But don't separate any of the pages, please. Okay, we're selling, um, as I mentioned, out of two brochures, and I just want to quickly talk to you about that, um, and then I'll show you some cool prizes that we're going to be offering you as well. Um, first of all, we have um, this this brochure. Now, this brochure is um, the seasonal brochure. This is awesome, especially for this time of year. This is going to do really, really well for you guys. Um, people are buying. This has got all kinds of nice things for the holidays gift wrap. It's got some chocolates in there. Um, it's just a big, thick book filled with just something in there for everybody, okay? There's some all different ki kinds of good food items and nuts, chocolates, uh, gift wrap, holiday decorations, type of things like that. And people are really, really, really looking to buy that stuff now. You could probably encourage somebody to do the, all their holiday shopping right out of this brochure, okay? This will really, really work well for you, and we're getting right into that season where people are thinking about that now, so this is a great, excellent option. The other option, Mrs. Teeman wanted to also offer a cookie dough um, based on holiday type of things. People also do a lot of baking now, um, so this is the cookie dough that we're going with, and we did cookie dough with you guys maybe a year and a half ago, and you did really, really well with that sale, so that was a great job. So now we have a cookie dough. This is a different cookie dough. Since we're combining brochures, we're using a cookie dough that will go um, fit better with this brochure. Okay. The cool thing about this cookie dough is the one that we did in the past with your school was a frozen cookie dough. And this is actually also one that's intended to put in the freezer, but it's shelf stable. So that means there isn't the same level of stress of getting it into the freezer right away. Now when you're going to pick up your order and you get it home, you're going to want to put it into your freezer. But, um, and you know, you encourage your customers that it is a frozen product. However, it could remain out a little bit longer than the other cookie dough. So that's something cool to keep in mind. Cookies, everybody loves cookies. Um, this stuff, it just bakes. It's all pre-portioned. Great flavors in there. There's some M&Ms. There's some all Reese's Pieces. This is a really good one. Try that one. Um, and, you know, the customers will like it. So you have two excellent, excellent options to work out of. I think it's going to be an amazing job. One important number that we have to talk about, the number 400. Now, when you guys do a fundraiser, um, there is a minimum for you guys to get the full profit, okay? And that number is 400. Now, there are 230 people in this sale, so 400 should be an absolute no-brainer. Okay, 400 is definitely manageable for a group like you guys, um, and you're going to want to get 400, okay? Mrs. Teeman doesn't want to have to do a delivery charge and all those things, and then it kind of gets to the point where you say, well, why did I even bother doing the fundraiser? So as long as we hit 400, we get free delivery. Now, truth be told, you guys have 230 people in the sale. I think there's no reason why you shouldn't get anywhere between 600, 800 items. If everybody participates and everybody goes after what I call their slam dunk people, slam dunk people are people that are just not going to say no to you. Grandma's a slam dunk. 
aunts, uncles, close relatives, and friends. Most people should have like three or four, maybe five people in their lives that are slam dunks. If every all 230 people of you go after your three or four or five people, we're well above 400. We're well into the high ranges, maybe of like six, 700, where you're going to be able to make thousands and thousands of dollars for your choir program. So really, really, really important just to get involved. We need everybody full participation to do it. What I would encourage um, Mrs. Tiemann, if she's able to give a little bit of class time, maybe they're on your parent letter, there's some instructions to make an online selling account. So maybe in class, maybe even today, we could have everybody register for an online selling account and already shoot out a couple of emails. That would be awesome. Okay. Now, two ways to sell. The one way to sell is the old-fashioned way where you just take your paper order and you're going to record your orders. Make sure you get the item number in there. The item number is listed in the brochure. Um, put the quantity, how many somebody wants, item description. Please be clean, neat, legible with this. Black pen or blue pen, please no red pen. And make sure you get your names on there. Okay? The old-fashioned way actually works really, really well. Okay, we encourage the old-fashioned way. What I tell most people is if you can be, get to your customers in person, that's always better because it's a lot harder to say no to you when they're right there. Okay, um, but again, um, that's if they live nearby, if they're at school, if teachers, coaches, neighbors, okay. If you have relatives that live far away or they're difficult to get to, let's say somebody lives all the way in California, so you're not going to go all the way to California to sell them some cookie dough or something from your seasonal brochure. However, um, in that case, you could always make an online selling account. But important thing to do when you make an online selling account is follow through. Okay, A lot of times, just people don't get to it right away or they forget about it or get stuck in their junk box whatever it is you want to just make sure that you send that link and you call up whoever it is grandma hey did you get the link i sent did you have a chance to purchase something for my fundraiser okay really really important to follow through okay in hand always best always the preferred method and they'll be able to see the items very clearly and that's always an i a, a good idea but again Practically speaking, if you can't reach them, so they make an online selling account. Please, one other thing that you could do, a couple of things you could do to really bolster this sale into new levels. Um, get your parents involved. So what I tell you people is to go after as many people as they can, um, all the slam dunks for sure. Go after the maybe people, the people that might say yeah, maybe yeah, maybe no, neighbors, right? All Whoever you can get to, get to. And then what's really going to take um, this sale to a whole nother level is then by hopefully encouraging your parents to get involved. Um, if your parents are willing to take one of the brochures to work with them, or both of them, um, and start asking their coworkers to support the choir at Portsmouth, that'll really, really take it to new levels. Your parents could probably send out online selling um, links to their friends that live around the country as well. So go and get them involved. Another thing, I had a girl that was in another school that just sold about 90 items. And what she did was after getting her parents involved, she got her grandparents involved. Her grandparents uh, lived in a retirement type of place. They had a ton of friends. They didn't work. And they were just able to really go at it for her. So if you get your grandparents involved, think sort of like in that in those terms of going out of the box a little bit and seeing how else you could get more sales. That's always a good strategy. Uh, some students that I've spoken to, what they've done is they've encouraged their little brothers and sisters to get involved. So like if you have um, a fifth or sixth grader, those guys, the, right, they're the best, okay? They love to just go out and sell. If you can offer them a little piece of candy or something like that, then they'll do the work for you. Okay, so that's really, really important. We have amazing, amazing products. The only thing that's stopping this sale from succeeding is just not getting involved. But again, 230 people in this sale, it's going to be a no-brainer. But we just have to really make sure that we get involved so that Mrs. Tiemann doesn't get stuck with extra delivery charges and all of that hassle. So we have to keep that number 400 in mind. And make sure that you just do your part. Mrs. Tiemann's an excellent teacher. She's experienced. She's been doing this for quite a while. And um, this is your opportunity to sort of say, you know what? I appreciate my teacher. I'm going to get involved and sort of make it. Um, I'm going to do my part to make our choir program an excellent program. Okay? So um, 
in addition to just wanting to have an awesome choir program, uh, we do have some good in incentives for you. Um, our incentives this year have been going really, really, really well. The students seem to like them a lot. So the first prize that we're going to offer somebody that sells 10 items is uh, this virtual reality viewer. Okay, it's right over here. And what you do is you basically you pull this thing. And this will fit like you know over your head. And you're going to pull it out, you pop your cell phone in there, and um, then you can put on a movie, and I'm telling you, you're in the movie, okay? You're there. I tried this out um, a couple of weeks ago just to make sure it worked well. It was really, really cool. Um, some people told me what they do is they'll go on YouTube, and they'll YouTube um, roller coaster rides, and then... You're there. I'm telling you, it's a lot of fun. Okay, the second prize that we're going to offer you guys is for 20 items. So that was 10. This is 20 items, okay? 20 items get you this 5-pound bag of gummy bears. This is one of my most popular prizes, okay? 20, 20 items. And again, if you want to get your little brothers and sisters involved and tell them we're going to get some gummy bears and you're, or you're, you know, you're going to give them some gummy bears, that'll help a lot, okay? But 20 items, okay? Uh, the third prize that we'll give you is for 30 items, and 30 items we're going to give you both the virtual reality viewer, and we're going to give you the gummy bears as well. Okay, so you get both things at 30. Now, if you sell 40 items, yeah, we're going to give you a $25 Amazon gift card. Now, in that case, you'll just get the gift card, okay? You don't get the gummy bears and the gift card and the VR viewer. You just get the, the gift card. At, um, so that was, what did I say, uh, 30 items. Uh, 40 items, sorry. 40 items, you get the $25 Amazon gift card. Sorry, I don't have my notes. 50 items, we're going to give you a $35 Amazon gift card. Okay, just the gift card at that level. And 60 items, we'll give you the um, Amazon um, uh, um, Echo Dot okay, with the Alexa speaker. So that's a really cool thing to have. Um, you can say, Alexa, you know, turn off my lights. Alexa, wake me up in half an hour. Alexa, play my favorite song. Um, so that's a really nice thing to have. So again, that's at 60 items. So we have our really, really good prize program for you. You have great brochures to sell from. Again, people will do their holiday shopping now. They're really getting in the mood for this. So you're coming at the perfect timing. And um, if you can encourage somebody to just do all their gift shopping and buy gifts for whoever they were going to buy right out of here, then they're buying something that they would buy for themselves anyway, and they're supporting you guys in the process. So be sure to um, get involved with this sale. Uh, I think you guys are going to knock it out of the park. I know we did a sale with you guys in the past. It went well. So um, I got um, high expectations. I think it's for sure very realistic with 230 students to get into that six 700 item range. We definitely need to get 400, but let's get into that six 700 item range, and that will raise just thousands of dollars for your choir program. Hopefully you guys have a little bit of time to make an online selling account. If not now, maybe you can get some class time at some other time, and um, that way you can already start sending out some links. Uh, please feel free if uh, Mrs. Teeman, she probably knows the drill, you can ask her any of your questions. If there's anything that you need to reach me about and you want to ask me questions, so Mrs. Teeman knows how to get a hold of me and she can always um, um, get a hold of me. Okay, great. Good luck, guys. I'm looking forward to a great sale and thanks very much. Be sure to please get involved and um, I think, again, it's going to be amazing. Okay, take care. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.